And now to the war in Ukraine, where there have been more Russian strikes on the power grid there. Some service has been restored, but at one point yesterday, more than 600,000 people in Kyiv were without electricity. The city's mayor is calling it a dire situation right now. Russia's foreign minister defending the strikes and claiming that the U.S. and NATO are participating in the war by arming and training Ukrainian troops. Now, one Chicago area native has made multiple trips to the front lines of Ukraine since the start of the war. Jeffrey Gettleman grew up in Evanston and is now the foreign correspondent for the New York Times. Although cell connections are very hard to come by, he was able to check in with us this afternoon from a city just outside of Kherson. This is the only place I can get a connection. I'm sitting outside at a small restaurant. It was after dark in Ukraine when we spoke. Jeffrey Gettleman telling me this is now his fifth trip back to the front lines covering the Russian invasion of Ukraine for the New York Times. The city around me is pretty dark. A lot of places have lost power and people are struggling with no heat, no power, no running water. I've been living through this for the last month and some people here have been dealing with this since the beginning of the war. Gettleman sharing these photos with us and why he is risking his own safety to tell these stories. I feel like this is a really big important moment in the world and there are stories that really should be shared and I want people to understand what the Ukrainians are going through and what they're thinking and what they're feeling and how this war is not just like one battle after another or you know, bodies lying in the snow. It's about so many people whose lives have been turned upside down and that sets a shock. And more than nine months after that sense of shock began, this veteran journalist describing the Ukrainians striking resolve. It gives me chills just sharing that, that idea that so many people here, almost everybody you speak to, wants to fight till the end. And if they lose power, if they lose heat in the middle of winter, if their kids aren't going to school, if the buildings around them are being blown up, if people around them are being blown up, they are still saying, I do not want to give up. In the midst of devastation, with so little to spare, what wasn't lost, hospitality. Like these moments, locals offering Gettleman and his crew a toast to say goodbye. It's in the course of being a journalist. But it's also just it's also just trying to connect and trying to have a share a moment with people who've been through so much. And it helps me understand even more deeply, like what it's like to, to live here and this culture and to have experienced this war. Mm. Of course, I asked him if he felt safe there and he said no, but he does feel this awesome sense of responsibility to tell the stories on the front lines of this war. He is hoping to be home to London next week to see his wife and their two young kids. And we signed off Rob by telling him safe travels. Just an incredible job that he has right now. First hand account of some new friends and also has family has to be so excited that he hopefully is on his way home. And he soon. really wanted to share that story with our viewers here. He's from Evanston, so Brennan wanted to bring it to his hometown. Terrific. I'm yeah. glad he shared it. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.